Well, two soldiers who were hurt in that Black Hawk helicopter crash yesterday are still in the hospital tonight. They are in stable condition. Four soldiers were on board the Black Hawk when it went down in a remote forest area off Rampart Road in Douglas County. The Army is guarding the crash site until the investigation is complete and the helicopter can be moved. In the meantime, we're working to find out what went on before the crash. CARDIO NEWS CHANNEL 13'S MICHAELIA WHITE GOT SOME INSIGHT FROM A FORMER ARMY HELICOPTER PILOT. AND MICHAELIA, HE KNOWS FIRSTHAND THE DANGERS OF FLYING THESE HELICOPTERS. THAT'S RIGHT, JAMES. MAGNUS KNOWS THAT EXPERIENCE ALL TOO WELL. HE SERVED IN BOTH THE MILITARY AND PRIVATE SECTOR. Seven years of that, I was Retired born. Army veteran Rob Magnus flew a helicopter during the war, and helicopters remain an integral part of his life. I got out of the military in 1975, and I went to work for Air West Helicopters in Fort Collins, worked for them for about five seasons, and then I started on my own. Got my own helicopter, and uh, I've been in business uh, for 35 years. While flying a private chopper over Longmont in 1981, he lost control and crashed. His legs had to be amputated. I, I never took another step. He calls the soldiers involved in this crash lucky because he knows firsthand the risks of flying. There's a whole lot of factors, mountain winds, changing winds, uh, the changing wind speed alone will cause, it, cause problems. Magnus wouldn't speculate about the crash and based on his experience, he says it could take months to find out what happened here. And at the time of that accident, the helicopter and crew were on a routine mission. We are live in the studio. Michaelia White, KRDO, News Channel 13. Right, thank you, Michaelia. The girlfriend of a man who was shot and killed yesterday in Pueblo is.